behaving. Let's hope that my editor is behaving. I should slap myself upon the face. I just realized I haven't done some of my homework yet. Shit. Um, yes, behaving is another one that is like digging it, only this stage really isn't that bad. Compared to all the other stages in this in this warp room, this isn't bad. Now, uh, be careful going underground when those guys are on. I like to call them Eustace Bag because it kind of looks like Eustace. Uh, they will slam you on the ground while you're on the ground and kill you. Oh god, bees, 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 bees. I did not think that they could go behind you. They're not supposed to be able to go behind you. They're not supposed to be able to go behind you. As you can see, there are way too many bees for you to just simply spin. To save yourself, simply just burrow into the ground. Usually the bees will always be right there. Wow, I lost two Aku Aku masks by that. That was stupid. Alright, let's go this way. There should be a life in here, I think. Sorry, that was just dumb. Oh! I'm a bit upset by that now. That, that was just stupid. The bees are not supposed to go behind you. I know that. Alright, let's dig into here because apparently I'm probably wrong. Now watch out for the nitro boxes. You're not immune from nitro boxes while underground. So let's jump over here and go into the ground before the bees show up. Always be cautious about the bees. They will always be on you. Oh. Yeah, this one's kind of fast. Anyway, continuing on from the conversation from the last episode, I'm kind of scared about staying behind this beehive now. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I honestly don't know what happened, and I hope that uh, I can fix this and this goes well. Because, I mean, hell, this is going pretty good so far. Don't say that, Roxas. You're going to end up dying. Now, one thing I have been neglecting to talk about is the purple gem. Which, in fact... Notice that staircase filled with nitro boxes? Something's not right. They're not jumping. Yep. This leads to the purple gem. Now, the purple gem is really easy to get, and I don't know why they did this. I did not think that those things could spawn beforehand. Jump up here. Right here, the purple gem. Now, you can go through this entire thing. There are no boxes in here, so just suicide. Just suicide. There is no point in staying in there. Like, yeah, I have to go back and do a bit, but not that much. I mean, I don't know why Naughty Talk did that. I mean, is it like, oh, sorry, we've, we've been jerks to you in the last couple of levels here. Have an easy colored gem. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm complaining about this. I should just take it. It was... It's very good. Anyway... Now we just need to get the box gem, which should be simple. Like I said, this stage is a lot more simple than the other ones, which is why I just got killed. Yay! What, third time I'm at this checkpoint? Eustace, die! I loved Courage the Cowardly Dog. That was a great show. And I'm, I'm happy that they're playing a lot more of the older cartoons on Cartoon Network right now, part for the 25th anniversary as well as for Halloween. So they're playing Courage, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Haven't seen any Evil Concarne or Concarne yet, which is strange. I would have thought that I would have. Well, not that much, because Evil Concarne wasn't really the show for the scary stuff like uh, Billy and Mandy was. Like, I saw the um, Billy and Mandy Halloween special, the one with... Uh, Jack. That one was awesome. I always loved that one. I don't know. What happened to cartoons? They're... Today, they're too family-friendly and trying to protect the innocence of the children. I mean, hell. It apparent... I was gonna say that's where Crash is going, but he's got angel wings. Um... I mean, I grew up with cartoons that could be that in today's world are deemed questionable at that, and I turned out okay-ish. I mean, really, it's like if your parents 
don't want you to be watching them, then there's parental controls for that reason. Of course, I don't really know many parents that do actually know about parental controls. Nor the fact that they actually have parental controls on, you know, consoles. And they're gonna have to learn that for what the Xbox is doing for their, um, inner for the internet. Uh, I was an old news story on The Escapist how, um, one of the features, because they were going to introduce the internet onto the Xbox 360, sort of, most likely a lot better than the PS3's uh, browser, because I'm sorry, the PS3's browser kind of sucks. Whoa, 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 get away, get away, get away! Get away! <laughs> okay, that, that kind of scared me, I'm not going to lie. That kind of scared me. Alright, go, 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 go. But, yeah, I mean... Crap, what was I gonna say? Oh, right, um, the Xbox 360 and everything. Well, one of the things that ended up being said was that you could watch, um, porn from one of the sites on there. Like, a site. I'm not gonna say the name because I'll get in trouble if I were to, uh, say the name. And... Yeah, basically... <laughs> You put two and two together. Parents who don't know parental control. Teenagers with an Xbox 360. And internet. Yeah, you do the math. <laughs> yeah. So parents out there, if somehow you're watching this, remember, there is parental controls on your consoles. Use them. And keep the little kids from cursing. God have mercy. I hear more kids saying the F word than I do a person having sex.